Welcome back to my channel. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for subscribing. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button below along with the notification bell. This way you'll be notified when I upload new videos. And I upload new videos every week. Then you can return, tune in, and join us again. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you and welcome back. Today on Creative Glam, I'm participating in an open invite. This open invite is called the DIY Thrifted Cake Stand Challenge. And this challenge is being hosted by Lacey of Lacey Space. She has a wonderful channel here on YouTube and I will leave a link to her channel below. Make sure you go and check it out. I will also include a link to the playlist of all the participants in this challenge. After you've watched my video, make sure you click on the playlist and go check them out. I can't wait myself. I know it's going to be entertaining and creative. I look forward to it. The requirements of this challenge is that we have to DIY a cake stand, but all the items that you purchase have to be from the thrift store. Nowhere else except the thrift store. So I ran out to my local thrift stores. I went to a couple of them, found what I was looking for, and today I'm going to DIY my thrifted cake stand. Let's get started. My goal is to be able to change the flowers in the base to match the flower on the plate. So I've got to figure out a way in which I can have access to the flowers yet still have a stable cake plate. For demonstration purposes only, I'm gonna drop my flowers in the base as I want it to be. I still want access to it because I wanna change it out to coordinate with the icing and the cake. That's just how I am. But my suggestion to you would be that you would take the flowers and put them in, turn the base this way. And you can still have that same, you can, you can still have that same look and have, you know, access and the ability to change it as you like. Again, as I said, I don't suggest you use hot glue to do this it's not steady. This is going to be a quick one. If you blink, you'll miss it. And then you take the cake plate and you put it right there on top. Put a little pressure on it. I went to the Salvation Army and got the pieces to my cake stand. And I was trying to think, what can I do that would be a little different? And um, I found the base first. Then I found the plate. And as I was looking at the base, and it looks like an ice cream bowl to me, I was saying, okay, I can put, um, I can put flowers in the base of this and have it coordinate with the cake on the stand. And I thought that turned out absolutely beautiful. Again, like I said, I would suggest you use E6000 or epoxy um, on this project. Flip the base upside down and put the flowers underneath if you want to coordinate the way that I do. <laughs> I had a cake plate already and my lid fits perfectly. A DIY thrifted cake stand.
thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed my video. I had a great time participating in this challenge. Lacey, thanks for including me. If you enjoyed my video, hit the subscribe button below along with the notification bell, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. Again, thanks for watching. Come back and tune in tomorrow. <laughs> Have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye. that this works really great with. And there you go. Thrifted, a DIY thrifted cake stand. Okay, so when I found these pieces, I knew what I wanted to do. In my mind, I saw blooms, flower blooms in the bottom that are going to coordinate with the...